Right, welcome back to the Capitalist Workshop. I'm your host as always, David. First product, as you can probably already see, is brandishing on my lovely head, are Deadpool masks. Now, Deadpool was obviously that lovely hit Marvel R-rated movie that came out on Valentine's Day of last year. Or was it this year? No, it was definitely last year. These are going for £10 plus £20 posters and packaging. All right. If you'd like to bring along item number two. This is something that appears to be made of styrofoam or something similar. Now, what I would guess this is used for is obviously you'd put this on top of something to stop it from getting damaged in some kind of <laughs> transportation method. Now, I'm just going to take a guess stab in the dark here and just say this is going to be £100 per whatever you'd call this. <laughs> yeah, that's the weird thing. Right. I don't, know, I don't know how you'd use that, so... Right, item number three. I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is obviously made out of seagull feathers or something like that. And you'd put it around your neck, something like this, to make you look all nice and lush, along with this very odd sparkly cowboy hat, like so, and then obviously you make yourself look like an idiot, but that shouldn't be no problem for you taxpayers out there. Right, the hat and the seagull necklace thing will be sold separately. This is £20, and this, considering that seagulls are clearly an endangered species, <laughs> we're going to have this at £135.94. Pence. <laughs> right. Oh. All of you lovely people should know what this is. This is a lightsaber. Now, this was the one that used by uh, Anakin Skywalker. I guarantee you that now. I mean, it doesn't work anymore, obviously. They had to take all the uh, functioning parts out of it and such. But this is a genuine... Jedi artefact, and these will go for no less than £1,599.92. Right, yes. And now, assistant, if you'd like to come onto the stage and let me demonstrate the use of this object. Now, obviously, what you'd do is you'd just stab someone like that, and then they'd actually die, but obviously we're not going to do that because of stuff. Now, this particular item, I'm afraid, could not go for anything less than £10,000 plus £9,000 packaging. Yeah. Right, now we're going to go to a break and, yes, cue the break. Welcome back to the Capitalist Workshop. As you can see, we've had our lovely assistant clear the table to bring in some more items. This is clearly some kind of BDSM collar. <laughs> now, I'm not actually going to demonstrate this on myself. If my assistant would like to come back in, please. Now, I'm not into all this weird stuff, but <laughs> I imagine that what you do is place this around her neck <laughs> as such and then you do it as tight as you want or perhaps maybe as tight as they want it <laughs> and then what you would do is kind of pull them along using this 
<laughs> and yeah, what we're going to do is because we're not quite that sadistic over here in the lovely democratic society of the UK. Right, because I don't actually feel comfortable selling these, we're going to charge £2.50. <laughs> right. Ah, my personal favourite. Now, this has many, many uses. Like, for instance, if you're being attacked and you don't know how to call out for help, you'd simply just <laughs> do that. Or if you just don't like someone and you see they're nice sitting down, sort of falling asleep, you just can't behind them and go <laughs> like that. Now, because this is obviously some kind of deadly sonic weapon, we're going to have to charge £400 for this and we're going to have to do a criminal background check before we give this to anyone. Right. Oh, yes. And today, our special item, we're wearing, selling this. Now, this is obviously some kind of goggles that you put on your head. <laughs> now... Now, I imagine that it would work somewhat like this. And you just sort of leave it there and sort of... Yes. Now, this is our special item today. We only have five of these in stock. And we're going to be charging £500 for each. <laughs> right, and if we have any more... <laughs> A lot of kinky items we have today <laughs> on for sale. This is some kind of used device <laughs> that I don't actually want to hold. But um, I'm going to leave the uses up to the imagination of our viewers. So, yeah. And we're actually giving these away for free with every purchase. <laughs> right. We have more stuff. Ah, here we have my personal favourite. Some lovely cannabis. Now, clearly, this is of very, very poor quality. And if we just have a quick smell... Yeah, see? Smells like crap. Right. We're not actually allowed to sell these, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave them in the bins around the building, and anyone who wants to buy this will have to come and leave the cash in the same place. But I'm not going to set a price on that, so, uh, yeah. Do we have any more items for today? Ah. Now, this is the skeleton of Albus Dumbledore. As you can see, we've put a nice flannel top on him. And his beard clearly hasn't deteriorated. Right. Are we allowed to sell this? Right. Now, as you can see, look, duct tape coming into play. But, um, yeah. I don't actually know what you would sell this as. I mean, it's not another kinky item, is it? I mean, ah, yeah, that's what it is. It's for all you necrophiliacs out there <laughs> that might be interested. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> now, for this item, considering that this is clearly the most, yes, High quality craftsmanship. We're going to have to charge at least £300 per skeleton. The beard also comes separately with an additional £25 charge, and we're keeping the uh, flannel shirt as well. Right. I believe that's all the items that we have time for today. And uh, remember, sonic weapon. And this. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, this has been the Capitalist Workshop, your host David, and uh, hopefully, or maybe hopefully not, we'll see you next week. <laughs>